What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Grenade and today I want to make a Warframe guide, this is the first time I ever make a Warframe guide, I'm really enjoying this game lately, uh, I've been spending a couple of hundred hours in it, not hundred but closing up to hundred hours and uh, I have a lot of friends that I want to get into the game and they just find the game confusing, some of them and they find it overwhelming. Uh, so I decided to make a guide on just small stuff here and there, so it's be easy for people to, to get into the game uh, because the game can be really really scary and it can be a little bit overwhelming at times uh, so today we're going to be talking about crafting crafting is too hard really it's really simple once you get to know what you need to do and where to find the different uh, resources I'll show you guys today uh, so first off you want to have the blueprint for what you want to have so say I want to have a weapon uh, first off you need mastery rank as you can see I'm master rank 6 I'm ready to go up to 7 uh, say if I want to make the, let's say, Ruby Co, for example, uh, this is a gun that I do not have, you would buy the blueprint, you will see the stuff that you need to have it, so I'm actually going to buy this right now, um, because I don't have it, I do actually have it, so, ah, it doesn't matter, um, so here you can see what you need to actually make the weapon, uh, I'll show you guys where you can get those materials later on, uh, you can also buy it for platinum, and a lot of people say this game is paid to win, but honestly it isn't, because this is really easy to get. I just see I have way more materials than what I need. Um, so, I, of course, in the early stages when you don't have the materials and have access to the planets where you can get the materials that you need, of course, it seems a little pay to win. I think this is more to give people a little bit of a boost, but in the mid-game to, to late-game, it just doesn't benefit to buy uh, from Platinum. You rather just buy Fashion Frame instead. Uh, so yeah, now we bought a blueprint. I'm actually going to craft this as well if I don't have it already. So you want to go down to your foundry or your crafting bench or where you craft stuff. And you guys can see I'm crafting ton of stuff. Like I'm making guns, uh, I'm working on some warframes as well. Uh, I'm working on my first prime which I'm really, really excited about. Uh, so we're going to go to weapons. As you see I'm working on the boar. Uh, not really a gun that I'm too familiar with but I need it for XP. Uh, so here we have the Rubico. Say I want to craft this, you can see here's all the materials and so on. Um, so to begin with, a lot of these materials will be unknown for people. Like it will be where do I get those uh, materials. Uh, like you have um, here, you have Orc and Cell, which is really, really not hard to get, but it takes a little bit of time to get to the stage where you can get it. As well as Nerd Rose. Um, you start getting like a little bit in the early game, but when you get to mid game, you can get to places where they drop two and two all the time. Or one and one, depending if you have a boost on. Uh, so as you see, I need like let's say, let's find this for example, nanospores. Nanospores is something you won't get at the start. You will maybe get a couple. Uh, it's really, really hard to get. You maybe have like max ten thousand when you get to the stage where you actually can get them. Um, so I have ninety two thousand and I need three thousand. So the way you can find that out is really, really simple. Honestly, this is one way to say, to track it, uh, but it's not the best way. Uh, so here you can see some of the stuff this planet drops. This is just the rear stuff it will drop, like the control module is the green material. Uh, Rubido uh, is the um, ores that you will find there, I guess. It's like a stone you can destroy. And then you have Jupiter as well, where I am right now. You see you get alloy plate, neutral sensors, uh, and so on. You can go to Saturn and you can look here. Here you can see it drop nanospores, for example. Uh, I think it dropped nanospores a little bit at uh, Jupiter as well, but it doesn't show there. You need to go to the wiki, which is probably the best place to find now, but this is for people who doesn't want to use a web page or whatever. Uh, so nanospores here is one of the common materials you get. You also get plastides and orcan cell, which is really, really helpful as well. So this is a really good planet to grind out Saturn. Uh, if I were you guys, I would grind out maybe mobile defense is nice and you have uh what was it you have a lot of other stuff you can grab out like exterminate is good if you just want to have a quick run uh sabotage is not that good uh but you can grind for example uh defense is probably the best defense of survival which just give you an infinite amount of materials if you stay for a long time um and then you have it like where you would get your materials and where to get them uh so of course you will get like a lot of blueprints early on, which will actually require nanospores and so on. Uh, like the 
Voltor you get a Master Rank 2 and that this Nerd Rod is like really, really hard to get in the early stages so of course I think before your Master 2 you'll have like a couple of this so it wouldn't be an issue but if you're looking for them these are the planets that you can actually get them on like I showed that's the way you can see it you can also look it up on the wiki it's really really helpful guys I really I recommend you guys always use the wiki um, so say if I want to build a Warframe uh, this is a couple of the it gets a little bit more advanced here, not too advanced once you get know what to do. Uh, so as you guys can see I'm building Frost right now and I'm building Nova which I just started like half an hour ago. And uh, Rhino and also my Prime that I'm building. Uh, so you see like I have Chroma here and he needs all these parts, system, Neoptrix, uh, chassis uh, and so on. He needs two by the way, I didn't know that. Um, so I have one of the parts here, and it says what you need to build it. Uh, here I need Ember Neoptics, so I think Chrome is one of the harder ones to build, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but you, you will build this, so it takes you 12 hours, then you will have one of this. Uh, or you would have this one. Uh, and then you need all the rest of the parts, basically. So how do you find parts like this? Uh, I think Chroma, you will get the parts for Quest, but say if you want to do Ember, which I'm working on right now. Uh, you can just search up where to get ember parts and usually it will show you on the map where to do it. It usually is a boss who drops the parts and we'll just have to do it a couple of times. Sometimes you will just be really lucky and get them right off and sometimes you have to do it maybe like 20 times. Uh, but don't worry, you will get other materials as well while you do this. So it's not really the worst. Uh, but here's one thing that's really, really confused me to begin with. Uh, I'm really close to get Equinox Prime. Uh, I just need the system. So. Prime materials you will usually get from doing relics. Uh, this is how you will get the um, materials for it. So as you can see, this shows you what to get. So here you have one part for Prime for uh, for Equinox Prime, for example, the Neuroptix. Um It's not really hard to get. You just have to grind it out. Uh, I have four of these relics. You will get these relics from excavations or just doing missions. Uh, there are definitely better ways to farm them that I don't know of. Uh, so if anybody knows a good way to farm them, please leave a comment in the comment section below. So you can see what you can get of it and you can see what it requires to make it basically. So I just need the systems, but I don't have the relic for it. But I also really, really way to earn uh, to get this. Oh my God, my Facebook is fucking up. Uh, is to go to Google and you go to warframe.market like here you see and you can search up whatever you need so i needed equinox system so here you have it and it costs a little bit of platinum this one this one is one of the more expensive ones uh but say if i wanted i am making chroma right now this is how i got my chroma basically is i just bought the blueprints and this only cost free platinum this means that you can buy it from here or you could actually sell it for free platinum as well. So if you have a lot of parts, uh, say we have like three chroma parts and you only need one of them, you could basically sell two of them and get six credits or uh, platinum, which you could use to buy something else. Uh, so this is one easy way. I'll definitely get into this uh, in another guide if you guys would like to see it. But this is the easiest way to actually be able to get parts because it's it costs less what it cost on market but it's way better because you can just buy it right off there uh, from other players of course this is requiring that you are in a clan or you meet up in Maurice Bazaar I think I don't know if that works or not but I would definitely recommend being in a clan so as you can see you can see all the blueprints I showed you where to get the blueprints I showed you how to get the materials I showed that you can use a third party website that's actually accepted by the Warframe I believe like there's nothing bad against it and you will also see it requires some mastery rank as well. You can't just craft the best weapon in the game. This is what kind of separates, like what kind of makes a wall between pay to win. Is that even though you buy a lot of, uh, a lot, let's say if you buy five Warframes, uh, you need to wait 24 hours before you can rank up again. So basically you had 24 hours on you to get enough XP to get to the next, or affinity to get to the next level. Uh, this is so you can't just buy yourself up to like uh, 20 in two days, um, which is really, really nice. I hate it though because I play really, really actively right now. Uh, I wish I could just rank up as fast as possible, but I understand this is a way to keep a gap between people who pay for uh, Warframes or weapons 
and from people who uh, just play for free. Uh, so one more other thing is you can actually actually also get Warframe. Uh, you can also get Warframe blueprints there. Uh, these have no mastery requirements on them, but do consider that you can't get all the parts that you want. So if you want Wisp, for example, uh, you have to have some build requirements. You could actually just buy right off, which I do not recommend. Uh, but like, you wouldn't get this uh, the parts till you later on in the game. I haven't gotten this far yet, uh, so think about that. Which is the earlier operators? Uh, it's like fr uh, I would say like Rhino, if I can find him, is a really uh, early operator or not operator, but uh, Warframe. Uh, you get him from basically the first or second boss, I believe, uh, from uh, the, on the far side. Uh, on Venice or Mercury, I don't remember. Uh, and it's really, really easy to get. Um, of course, you need to get the materials to make these parts as well. But that's just one of the first Warframes you will get. And then you will get Frost, which is really, really easy, which I do recommend you guys build. Uh, so yeah, that's the guide. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. If I did anything wrong, make sure to correct me if you guys know more about the game. I'd love to get some tips and tricks from you guys to see how you actually can progress faster or if there's any other way around this. Uh, as I said, I'm pretty new to the game. I'm really, really excited about the game. I want to learn more about the game. There's just a ton of stuff in this game. So I do recommend you guys downloading it and trying it out. Because it is a free game. You have nothing to lose. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. It really, really helps me out. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Take care.